Okay, so he sleeps with me, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, at all. Uh, his clothes, like the newborn clothes, I thought that they were going to be like <laughs> way too small because the doctor was telling me that he was going to be huge. But actually, all of his newborn clothes are really, really baggy. He has really skinny legs and really, I don't know, I guess his arms are normal. They're probably like the same size as his legs. <laughs> and, I don't know, he just has a little bit of a belly, but not really. So all of his clothes are humongous. And it's really sad because I wanted to look cute, but he just looks <laughs> swallowed by all the huge clothes. And we tried creamy clothes, but those are um, too short. Just a little bit, but too short. Um, he loves his car seat. I was worried that he would hate it and like scream, but he actually falls asleep most of the time when we're in the car. Unless he's really hungry, then he won't sleep at all. Um, and also we have the Moby wrap, and I use that, and he loves that too. He'll fall right asleep. Um, yeah. He's not really like a fussy baby. Um or like colicky or anything. He just cries when he's hungry or when he has gas or he gets really cranky when he has to poo too. But he's pretty good. Oh, and we gave him his first bath um, like at a week because his belly button, uh, well, umbilical cord fell off at four days. So I was really surprised. I thought it takes like a week or two, but his fell off at four days. So we gave him his first bath um, at one week old. And we have this little rubber ducky thing that's supposed to tell you when the water's too hot. And we were using that, and I kept putting it in. It said it was too hot when I was like, I don't think that's right. And so I think we ended up giving him a bath that was way too cold. So he screamed the whole time, and he hated it. And then today I gave him another bath, and he didn't cry at all. I didn't use the duck to gauge it, but I, like, dipped my wrist in the water, and it felt fine. I didn't do it too hot. Because I love warm baths, so I was worried that I would probably put it too warm. But I put him in it, and he didn't cry at all. Um, he seemed pretty fine with it. So I'm glad, because I was worried that he was going to be crying at every bath. But it was just because the first one was cold, hopefully. <laughs> um, there's not really much to say, I guess, that we're using cloth diapers like I had wanted to. I don't think I really ever talked about it that much. I might have mentioned it, but we use cloth diapers at home. We just use like um, fitted um, fitted diapers, I think that's what you call them. And then it's just like using two diapers because you have like the cloth one that looks just like a regular like disposable one except it has like printed fabric and everything. It Velcros. And then we have the cover that Velcros on top of that too. They're Thirsty's um, extra small diaper covers so that's going good and then we just use like disposables when we go out so I don't have to like lug around a nasty diaper and also because at the baby shower people bought us disposables so I was like uh, I don't know I don't really want to like waste them or anything even though I guess it's not really what I wanted to do <laughs> because I wanted to use cloths and not um, put diapers in the landfill and I guess I still am but not as much I think we've only used like half a pack of um, newborn diapers because I was using um, the, the disposables until his umbilical cord fell off. So now that it's off, he wears cloth like all the time. We maybe use like one disposable diaper like when we go out. So that's fine. And his belly button, I don't know if this is normal, but it's been like bleeding now kind of even though it fell off like at four days and now it's 11 days and there was kind of like crusties like on his onesie from it so I don't know if I should be worried about that but it's not like constantly bleeding I just notice it like every once in a while so if that's something I should be worried about you should tell me so I can go to the doctor um anything else oh when he was born, he ha um, popped the blood vessels in his eyes or something. So he had, like, red, like, around his eye. And that's, like, almost completely gone now. And he has these, like, little white spots, like, all over his nose. I don't really know what it is, but he was born with that, and he still has it. 
I looked for birthmarks. I didn't really find anything until yesterday. Um, I guess you could call it a birthmark. It's so tiny. But on the top of his head, he has like a little teeny tiny mole that's probably, I don't know how big it is, probably like the big, the size of like a dull um, pencil. It's tiny and black, but I guess you could call that a birthmark because he was born with it, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it. There's nothing really much to say. He just eats, sleeps, and poops. <laughs> yeah, but it's really, it's really nice um, to have him here finally, but I do sometimes miss being pregnant, especially when I watch, like, all the videos on YouTube of all these pregnant girls that I've been following, and they're still pregnant, and they have the cute belly still, and my belly's all disgusting, <laughs> and my baby's out, and I miss, like, laying on my side and just, like, feeling him move and seeing him move, but then again, it's nice to have him out, and I can feel him move when he's in my arms, <laughs> so... That's it, I think. So I will try to make another update not too long. <laughs> it might be like a week or two, but I will see you guys then.